works. So that's what we do. We show people pictures of abortion. And we okay. Do. Now, how how do you how do you do this? I mean, you you say you show people pictures. I mean, do you target certain segments of the population, or, or and what, how do you get the pictures out? That we just want to know how the process well, works. We obviously the gatekeepers don't. They resist our efforts to show pictures on TV and even in pro-life Christian churches. These pictures of abortion are typically not shown. So we have to go around the gatekeepers. We put pictures on large billboard size photo murals. And one of our biggest projects is the Genocide Awareness Project where we go to college campuses with these huge 8 by 4, 4 by 8 or uh, 6 by 12 uh, photo murals that have pictures of abortion and other forms of historical genocide and then we make comparisons and we invite people to look at this human being and try to explain to us why they think that killing this human being is okay violence against the unborn child is okay whereas violence against these other uh, victims was not okay and um, we find it to be very effective because most people have no idea who the baby is. Most people have no idea what abortion does to that child. And by showing them pictures, we we're able to bring them out of denial about what abortion really is, just as pictures of the death camps brought Germans out of denial about what was going on all around them during mm -hmm. the 1930s and 40s. That, that is really interesting. And of course, the, uh, the opponents your opponents might say, well, when does life begin? You know, exactly when does life begin? And they want to, you know, chop it down to kind of a little sawdust, and that, that way you don't, have to, you don't have to really think about the issue. But when do you say life begins? Well, well, I have my views, and I believe they're the same as yours. Well, but it's not really a matter, it's not really a, a matter of opinion. Medical science tells us when life begins. Any embryology textbook that you can pick up, don't look at my book, go to the library and pick one up. Life begins at fertilization. That's when a new human being's life begins. That's what medical science tells us. And so uh, our question then becomes is what makes us think that we have the right to take away anyone's life? Uh, based on arbitrary uh, criteria such as development or uh, size or environment, degree of dependency, um, those those factors are just as subjective as skin color in terms of some kind of criteria or excuse or rationale to take away someone's right to live. Right, and if that is terminated at at say fertilization then nothing happens. But if you do not, you know, if natural courses go, go along and you do not bother that fertilized egg, right. it will develop into a person. But it is a person. That's right. <laughs> it will develop into a full-size person. As soon, as soon as that egg and sperm come together, you have a unique human being. That is a person at a very, at the beginning of development. At the one cell. At the one cell. It's, it's still a human being. It's not a pig. It's not a rat. You know, it's not, it will it's develop, not a horse. It will develop on into a fetus, a baby that you can see. Fetus, embryo, right. embryo fetus, right. uh, infant, toddler, adolescent, teenager, and all the way up to, you know, geezer. Right. You know? But they're still human beings at all of those stages of development. And we, we you know, I do uh, practice, my practice is primarily ultrasound, and we see a lot of pregnancies. And we can see fetal heartbeats right. very, very early. Right. And the, the better our equipment gets, the earlier and earlier we can see a fetal heartbeat. There's a really good website on fetal development that you ought to take a look at. It's called ehd.org, www.ehd.org. And what does the EHD stand for? It stands for the Endowment for Human Development. They're, okay. not, they're not a pro-life group. It's just strictly science and education. They don't have any position on abortion. Um, they have a campaign going on. You asked me, when does health life begin? Their campaign is, when does health begin? And the health of a human being begins, you know, from the very earliest point in pregnancy. So their mission is to teach people about prenatal development, hoping that they will teach people to take better care of their unborn children and be more, so they'll be more healthy when they are born. Um, but they have some fascinating video, actual direct videography of babies in the womb, 
uh, very early in the first trimester of pregnancy. So it's a very good website, ehd.org. And that those 